Hi everyone, it is Connie here. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 14th week pregnancy vlog. So I am about 14 weeks and a few days pregnant. And um, so basically this vlog is going to be everything that I've been experiencing the last few weeks. So it's going to be more of a recap of week 12 and 13. Um, so I'm really excited about this video because I have officially entered the second trimester! <laughs> Yay! Um, really, really excited about it. <clears throat> you know, every single day that this pregnancy goes by and I know that my baby is still growing and inside me and everything's okay, I am thanking God. I just think that every single day, <clears throat> sorry, every single day is a miracle and so the fact that I made it this far, oh, I'm just so, so grateful and so relieved um, and I just pray that the rest of the pregnancy will be healthy as well. So, anywho, um, so according to my Ovia app, the baby is the size of a brilliant beet. <laughs> a beet, so um, they say it's, gonna, it's about three and a half inches long. Um, and so that's pretty much where the baby's at. Um, I still can't really feel anything even though the app says that the baby's like growing and moving like crazy I still can't feel anything and I'm really just looking forward to that day I'm actually kind of nervous about it because what if like it's just sudden it, it, you know it's like all of a sudden it happens to me and I'll like be like oh my gosh what was that you know um, so anyways I'm ex excited and scared at the same time if you know what I mean but I'm still really looking forward to that day but just when I thought that my nausea and my vomiting was going away. Um, it was still lingering around in the 12th week and a little bit into the 13th week. I noticed for sure that the vomiting, um, like just the frequency and the amount that I was vomiting has decreased a lot. So instead of like vomiting like three, four, five, sometimes six times a day, it's more like once or twice a day. And that sick to your stomach feeling is not as bad. So that's uh, the good news. I realize I haven't talked about my weight that much. Um, I have not. I have not really gained any weight, and I haven't really lost any weight. Um, I would fluctuate maybe like a pound or half a pound here and there throughout my entire first trimester, but that's about it. So I heard that that's um, actually okay, um, and that it's actually normal for women to lose weight in the first trimester, just because we're you know feeling so sick to our stomachs and so nauseous that a lot of us don't eat. Um, so I was really surprised that I didn't lose, um, you know, like more than three pounds during my first trimester. Um, so in the second trimester is when the weight is supposed to start picking up and yeah so I'm kind of looking forward to that. That means that I'll actually be you know be able to eat something you know. Um, even today like when I went to go have lunch with my husband like um, my appetite just really wasn't there but I was still trying to eat something. So that hasn't changed like I don't really crave anything and I don't really um, uh, have any aversions just yet? Well, actually, yeah, I do. Um, normally, the things that I would like to eat are veg vegetarian. Like, I love kale and kale salads and broccoli. I mean, I could eat broccoli all day, but those are things right now that just don't appeal to me at all. And the interesting thing is, is like, like junky type foods, foods with like meat and like more protein type foods are the things that kind of go down better and I, I'm able to keep those down, interestingly enough. Oh, another symptom of pregnancy, which is kind of TMI, I'm gonna warn you, is constipation. Yes, I have been constipated for over a week and it's not fun. Um, I normally have a bad sort of digestive system anyway, even before I got pregnant, I would get bloating, constipation, you know, here and there. But now that I'm pregnant, I feel like the constipation is so much worse. Um, <clears throat> so every day <laughs> I try to sit on the toilet and, you know, sometimes something comes out. But right now it's just really, this is going to sound really gross, but it, they're like rocks. Just like pebbly rocks. Like rabbit poo. It's so 
ah, it's so annoying, you know? Um, so I don't know, what did you guys do when you were constipated? <laughs> like, did you guys, like, I was thinking of like drinking prune juice or something, um, something natural like that. I don't know, I, I really don't know what to do for it. Um, I've been trying to drink more water. I think that has a lot to do with it. I just water is not really appealing to me because it's so bland. So any bland type of foods, it's really hard for me to eat and keep down. Um, <clears throat> and also, um, this this is something that I noticed, but I forgot to mention it in my other pregnancy vlogs, but I noticed my breasts have kind of gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, they feel fuller, a little bit heavier in size. And um, another TMI thing is my nipples are a lot darker. Uh, just something that I noticed, and also they're sort of like protruding out a little bit more. Um, so anyways, that's that. <laughs> um, increase in cervical mucus or discharge or whatever it is. Um, I just definitely noticed something like that. Um, I'm sure it's because of the pregnancy. And more frequent urination during the night. Um, I have to go so bad sometimes during the night, uh, multiple times, four, three to four times a night. And um, the interesting thing is that not much urine comes out when I do go to the toilet. So I feel all this pressure on my bladder, um, but not a whole lot of urine. So go figure, that's probably my uterus expanding and putting pressure on my bladder. Um, that's what I'm guessing it is. Um, <clears throat> okay. So here's the most exciting thing is that being 39 um, and pregnant, I am considered uh, a high risk pregnancy. So um, I had my genetics, like the initial blood work, like genetic screening done. And it's like a newer kind of um, uh, test. It's like, the, it's called the fetal, f I'm going to try my best with it. I think it's like something to the effect of cell-free fetal DNA testing, and so they check for some abnormal uh, chromosomal activity that may be um, with going on with your baby, but it's actually from your blood. So it's a simple blood test, and um, I think that that one had a few chromosomal abnormalities that they check for, but one of them was Down syndrome, and um, I'm happy to say that I did that in the 12th week and everything came out normal. Thank you, God. And um, I also found out the gender. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my um, update for you guys. And I will be doing a gender reveal, but it's going to be a little bit later. Um, I do want to do my pregnancy buys video for you guys um, and just show you what I got. Um, I think that'll be a really fun video. And so, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments, like, what you guys think that I'm having. Is it a boy or is it a girl? Uh, I'd love to know what you think. And um, thank you again for listening to this video, for supporting me and going on this amazing journey of pregnancy with me. Um, it's just awesome. And yeah, so <laughs> that's my update. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye. I almost forgot to show you the bump. So let me just stand up really quick and just show you guys. Oh, I just ate two, so oh, I'm a little bit feel I'm feeling kind of bloated actually, feeling very full down there. Let me see if I can get a little bit higher. So um, I just took my little jean shirt, tied it here. I like that. I like that I could tie it right here and kind of accentuate the bump because, um, yeah, I'm kind of in that between stage where, you know, it's like you can't really tell that I'm pregnant. It just looks like I ate a whole bunch of, like, pizza or something. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I kind of, I've been trying to sort of, like, accentuate the bump so that it looks like I'm pregnant and not just, you know, like I ate too much. <laughs> so yeah, that is my baby bump. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.